are the Apollonauts in the house? Let's hope so because this of course is your regular mission update from Apollo, the most feature rich currency in the galaxy. It's also your place to be for some crypto space news and updates delivered to you by your Scottish saviour, your blockchain braveheart Colin Stone. Let us know if you're joining us for the very first time in the comments below so we can give you a very special welcome and as well to all of our everyday subscribers Thank you for your ongoing support and welcome to the show. Now, the second quarter of 2019 is underway and we're seeing the signs of what could be the end of this winter bear market. For those of us who have lived in crypto land for some time, we know very well what a roller coaster of a ride this can be. Since our launch on exchanges in July last year, Apollo has been consistently meeting its roadmap goals and as you've heard me say, in some cases even ahead of schedule. With the full integration of our DEX in our wallet also underway, many are moving through the process with even greater anticipation of what lies ahead. There have been some adjustments in understanding the use and need of our Vault wallet to access the DEX and today we'd like to present an easy step-by-step -step video to assist all of our Apollonauts with this transition. Here it is. Hello, my name is Lee Banky, the Community Director for the Apollo Foundation. Today, we're going to go over the creation of your very own Vault Wallet, as well as go over all the features that the Vault Wallet offers. As you can see, we're here on the home screen where you can do anything from log into your account, import your Vault Wallet, or create a brand new wallet. For the purpose of this video, we're going to be creating a brand new Vault Wallet, so right here in the bottom right where it says New User, Create Apollo Wallet. Let's start by clicking here. On this screen, you're gonna have the option to create a standard wallet or a vault wallet. We're gonna be creating a vault wallet, so click the tab at the top where it says vault wallet. Here, you will have the option to use your own custom secret phrase or use a randomly generated secret phrase. In this case, we're gonna use the randomly generated secret phrase. So go ahead and click create account. Here you will find all of your important account data, your secret phrase, account ID, and public key. You will see two options to save your data. First being copying your account data to clipboard. If you use this option, make sure you have Notepad opened up. Once you have Notepad opened up and ready to go, copy your account data to clipboard, open Notepad, and paste. The second option is printing your wallet. It's always a good idea to have a hard copy of your account information and printing your wallet is a good option. Please note that if you do lose your secret phrase, you lose complete access to your account. This is why it is so vital to store your secret phrase somewhere secure and safe. Once you have everything stored in a safe and secure location, go ahead and click this box. This acknowledges that you have stored your account ID and secret phrase somewhere safe and secure. Once you're done, go ahead and click next. You will now be prompted to enter your secret phrase here into this box. Go ahead and type this in or paste now. Once you've done so, go ahead and click create new account. Congratulations, you just created your very own vault wallet. The next step is exporting your secret file. This function allows you to use your Vault Wallet on different devices or nodes. You can also delete your account from the current node and keep your account as a cold wallet. It's important to note, if you lose your device before exporting your secret file, you will no longer have access to your wallet. To export your secret key, start by clicking on this gear icon in the top right portion of your wallet. Next, scroll all the way down where it says export secret key. Click here. You will now see a screen that says export account. It's going to prompt you to put in your account ID as well as your secret phrase. Once you have your account information typed into the boxes here, it's time to export your account. To do this, click export. Here, your secret file starts downloading automatically. If not, you can save it manually by clicking the Download Secret File button located here. 
make sure to store your secret file in a secure place for future use. You may continue to use your current node or have the option to delete account information from your device. You can always restore account information by importing your account at a later time. If you wish to continue using your current node, proceed to click the No button. If you're looking to delete your account from your node, you can do so by clicking the Yes button here. Before deleting your account from the node, make sure you have your secret file saved securely and in a safe spot you know how to access. I will now demonstrate how to remove your account from the node. We'll start by clicking the Yes button here. If you're positive you have your secret file safely stored away, you can now import your account ID along with your secret phrase. Now that we have our account ID and secret phrase logged in, we can proceed to delete our account from the node by clicking the delete button here. And just like that, your account is now offline. If you wish, you can bring your account back online by importing your wallet. To do so, you will need to log out of your wallet by clicking on this little person on the top right hand corner of the wallet. Scroll all the way down and click log out. Please note that in the previous version of the wallet, you could import your secret key in the form of an alphanumeric string of characters and get a new secret phrase. In the latest version, we have improved security of the secret key by creating a file with encrypted information about the account and added an option of secret phrase verification while importing. So to successfully use the account, you need to have both a secret phrase and a secret file. Also in the new version, the secret phrase doesn't change while importing the account. I will now show you how to import your account. To do so, click the Advanced User Import Vault Wallet button located here. As I mentioned earlier, previous versions of the Vault Wallet utilize what we call a secret key. If you have a secret key, go ahead and import your secret key into the box below. Click Restore Account and follow the instructions. Make sure you save your new secret phrase, as this will be your secret phrase moving forward. In our case, we're using a secret file. Check the box here next to secret file. Once you've done so, go ahead and import your secret phrase. Once finished, you are now ready to import your secret file. To do so, click the choose file button here. Locate your secret file in your directory. Please note, when looking for your secret file in your directory, you can locate this by looking up your Apollo Wallet ID. Once you have located the file, you're now ready to restore your account. To do so, click Restore Account. And voila! Your account has been imported successfully. Well, that's it! I hope you found this video useful and are now comfortable creating your very own Vault Wallet. Thank you, everyone. Well, we trust that's helpful for you in order to maximize the optimal features of the Apollo Dex. And of course, there's much more on the way in 2019 and beyond. Let's have some crypto news now. And as you know, Apollo is a cutting edge proof of stake pre-mined coin. Unlike Bitcoin, where transaction confirmations are securely provided through proof of work, also known as Bitcoin mining. Some interesting news on the horizon about strict regulation in Asia could level the playing field of mining from its dominance in China. Apollo relies on its own success as opposed to what Bitcoin's doing. But for now, the success of Bitcoin as the leading crypto by market cap and pairing is important to be kept up to date on. If you'd like to read more on what the proposed changes for mining could mean, please do check out today's article from CCN. But if not, thank you very much for watching. We've reached the end of today's mission update. Do come back tomorrow for much more and make sure to like, subscribe, turn on notifications and tell a friend about us if you're yet to do so. From all of us at Apollo, I'll see you next time.